Hello friends, welcome to Dhaka Levin Institute. Today I am going to discuss about how to check any laptop for troubleshooting. And today I will discuss about also all the checking points of laptop motherboard, all the regulators, conditions, all the signals. And I will discuss about the voltages and many other things. So this video is very important and meaningful for you and I think you should watch this video till the end and you must have knowledge about how to check any laptop okay so be attentive and watch it till the end so I am going to discuss about uh, <clears throat> how to check any laptop for troubleshooting first step is physical checking okay so for physical checking you have to disassemble your motherboard and open the motherboard and you have to uh, watch is there any physical damage is there burn issue or is there any fungus it may be in IC spin in IC in capacitor in uh, MOSFET or transistors in any other parts okay so you have to check well that is there any problem or not and if you find the problem it will be easier for you to troubleshoot the motherboard so first thing is uh, physical checking you should check 10 minutes okay you should actually spend at least 10 minutes for that you it may be that you it will be helpful for you to troubleshoot and within short time you can troubleshoot the problem you can repair the laptop motherboard so first thing is physical checking and then other is output coils checking output coils for shorting okay so for that you should not insert adapter here I will discuss some conditions for output coils especially for uh, shorting and uh, for first second third and fourth generation laptop you know that uh, there will be socket processor and first to check motherboard you have to remove the processor okay then you have to check all the coils some especially some coils so here are the coils charging coil 3 volt 5 volt coils ram coil 1.8 volt coil cpu core coils gfx core coil the for these coils there will have a 300 ohms impedance to over limit and if there are this impedance then you can say that uh, these coils or these sections sections are good okay and here we can also see, see uh, some other sections uh, 1.05 coil gpu core coil bcc assay coil uh, for these sections uh, you must have more than 12 impedance okay if uh, the impedance is less than 12 it may be four five six seven or, or something like that then you can say that these sections are short okay there must have shorting so you must remember you must uh, actually uh, follow these rules uh, or always uh, be attentive about that so you should remember that and uh, here uh, for shorting uh, especially for third and fourth generation and here you can see onboard processor okay this is this processor will be building so for that processor 
uh, and there you will get charging coil triple five volt coils 1.8 volt coil which will be uh, 300 ohm to well or over limit okay and if you get that ohm that you can say that uh, these sections are good or less than that uh, 300 ohm or less more less you will you can say that uh, these sections are bad or any of sections is bad okay so here uh, you can see also other sections uh, output coil 1.05 coil cpu core coil bcc sa coil cpu gfx coil gpu GFA, gfx coil these these sections uh, should have more than 4 ohm impedance okay if you get less than 4 uh, impedance then you can say that uh, any of uh, that uh, coil have more less than 4 ohm or impedance and you can say uh, this uh, section is short and there have shorting okay or problems so you have to find out uh, the problem and for fifth sixth seventh and eighth generation motherboard and it will be onboard processor you know and if uh, these are the uh, 5th 6th 7th and 8th generation motherboard then the coil impedance will be uh, more than one impedance okay for 1.05 coil cpu core coil bcc sa coil cpu gfx coil gpu gfx coil okay if you get uh, less than one impedance or zero impedance then there will be problem to the section okay so you have to uh, troubleshoot that section you have to find out the which are the suspected parts and you have to okay uh, solve this problem and you have to replace the parts or yeah, there may be any type of uh, shorting IC shorting or other shorting you have to even uh, open the schematic diagram and then you have to find the problem you should solve the problem okay so and after that uh, I will actually discuss after inserting adapter which will be the actually the checking points so first uh, you have to check bolt in section okay uh, i suppose i i will uh, take as 19 bolt okay adapter voltage will be 19 bolt for uh, uh, this discussion and the uh, bolt in section may be like that or there may be other possibilities suppose uh, i am for discussion i am uh, taking this possibility okay so 19 volt will enter uh, from the adapter and then into uh, first mosfet and then the second mosfet the mosfet may be different there may be diode there may be other things okay there may be rb fat or ac fat in mosfets you can actually uh, uh, also watch I have another video in this channel about uh, a charging section laptop charging section you can understand from this uh, video okay so I will recommend to watch the uh, laptop charging section video of this channel and you can learn more about that okay after uh, this uh, second MOSFET there will be a CLR or current sensor register okay in that side you will get adapter voltage and you will also get if there is no adapter if uh, the laptop will be on by battery you will get the battery voltage here okay and 
the voltage will enter into the whole motherboard and the voltage will go to charging section 3 volt 5 volt section ram section 1.8 volt section cpu core section jfx core 1.05 gpu core vcca sa so in every section the uh, voltage uh, battery voltage or the uh, dc in or 19 volt uh, will enter into these sections okay circuits so, and uh, the motherboard will uh, perform so these are the things for bolt in section and and there is other uh, part and you can understand more about that for this uh, I I am telling I have shown this diagram block diagram I have made for you so uh, you can understand this also broadly I have another video and that is uh, laptop motherboard power sequence and I am also uh, actually discussing about in this video because uh, this is also the part of uh, uh, actually uh, check any laptop so first uh, voltage it the voltage may be from adapter or maybe from battery voltage will first enter into 3 volt 5 volt section then uh, 3 volt will be on and 3 volt is very important uh, for other parts and for uh, SIO for BIOS and their uh, PCH and uh, there are uh, many other uh, signals uh, 3 volt is very important 5 volt also for USB audio and uh, many other uh, part uh, for charging section LDU okay there are many things actually SIO uh, 3 volt is only for uh, not 5 volt only 3 volt 3 volt for SIO from this voltage uh, the RAM section will be on then 1.05 section will be on CPU core or BRM section will be on and many other sections will be on from uh, 19 volt or 12 volt after pressing power button uh, SIO will communicate with BIOS and uh, there will be also crystal okay and after that after getting all the things SIO will uh, pass RSM RST and PM power button to PCH and PCH also will provide SLPS 3 and SLPS 4 to SIO and these are very important and PCH should have uh, communication with the main BIOS okay and there will be also uh, crystal and uh, crystal frequency also very important uh, you should uh, check this and uh, uh, there must have BRM signal okay to SIO from SIO and uh, all the sections should, should be okay uh, CPU core section should pass CPU core voltage, GFX core voltage, okay, and uh, uh, CPU power okay should be okay. PLT reset is very important, okay, for no display and for uh, total uh, all the power requirements. Uh, PLT reset is the most important uh, for powering on or for uh, display okay so you have to check all these uh, signals and voltages uh, for repairing laptop so and uh, to know more you should watch another video laptop motherboard power sequence then if you watch this video you will be uh, cleared 
and it will be helpful for you so thank you very much for watching this video if you get uh, minimum help from this video I'll request to you to subscribe this channel and I think there are many videos that are here that will be helpful for you uh, so subscribe this channel and like and share and uh, you make comments and thank you very much for watching